Afternoon, guys. Just having a quick look at something from this lovely lady, Beatrice Rivero Navardo, relating to a bill for the orange internet and phones that I don't even have. Now, if you remember right, this is why I'm sharing this. I'm not like angry or something, but it's more a case of do not buy from Orange, whatever you do. Uh, the funny thing is, when I was actually over there, there was a guy from Germany that said that he needed to pay for some extra uh, for Orange in Spain. The, he didn't because it's part of his package in Germany. Uh, in the end, he just moved to Movie Star. Now, what they do, and uh, this is why it's a scam. Um, they know they can't provide internet to these places. And when I took the uh, router back, there was a woman in the shop with exactly the same problem, receiving billing for mobile phones she did not have. Because what they do is they tie you into this contract with two phone sims because they know they can't provide the internet. They know they can't do it. In her case, they guaranteed fiber, and then they couldn't do fiber. In my area, they were going to do ADSL. They they spent, I don't know how many months. It was, a, I, it was a minimum of five weeks before I even started saying, look, what's going on? I think it must have been about two months in total of them wasting my time. Because they would say, oh, they're coming on Tuesday, they're coming this. You, you've, been through, you've seen all the videos on it before. Well, this is what they do. So they've had the internet stuff back, and now they're going, oh, yeah, but you've still got the mobile phone contract. It was a package. As a package, there is no bill to own because they've had everything returned. They did not meet the criteria of what the contract obligation was but they're still trying to squeeze this €26.96 out a month for phones I don't even own. Um, now, it's not a big amount, but what they're doing is they're trying to get you to cancel that for €200, Euros, or they want to run a full length of the contract. Bear in mind, I don't have any phone sims. They're already being returned to the shop. But I didn't want the phones in the first place. Now, I've explained this to her, and this is why Beatrice gets under my skin a little bit, because she obviously doesn't listen to anything she's told. So the first bit here, first bit was the agreement was made several months ago for internet you did not provide, because they spent, wasted about two months of my time, and we returned the equipment and the phone sims. I have to stress and in capitals, because she doesn't seem to understand what I'm saying. Secondly, your call center started a new contract for installation after you failed to install without my authorization. Because what they have, they have this like cooling off period. Now, if they haven't installed and, or you did install and it wasn't good, you can cancel it, right? But because they had already gone outside of this contract time frame, they started a new contract to put me at the bottom of the list again for an installation without my authorization. So we have not had the service and do not own anything belonging to Orange. I'm not paying for a service that you're not providing, so not paying for mobile phones we neither wanted or have. I don't know if I can make it any more straightforward. So her response to that is, Dear customer from the collection department at Orange, no, you mean Beatrice, let's put your name up here, Beatrice, we have already communicated the invoice of the mobile line dated, blah, 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 are correct and must be paid. I don't have the connections. We advise you to make the payment as soon as possible, otherwise you file against to an external consultant, consultant that may include you a, 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 in a public delinquency base, uh, threatening me without even discussing the bits I've mentioned. Remember that the most effective payment, yeah, give us money, give us money, give us money, ignore everything I've said. So I've then responded to in a bit more firm way, no, you will not receive payment as this was a package service. We not own or have a phone sims and you were incapable of providing the only service required, which was internet. You are threatening me for incompetence. There is no contracts, you liars. I did not agree to it and request you send me a digital copy of the request because to do this, they keep recordings and I can guarantee Funny enough, they will have no recording of this, this conversation ever happening. Um, it was a not agreed, and you did not provide the service agreed within the agreed time frame. Give me your name and your supervisor's name so I can take it to a higher level. So now I'm saying, look, tell me, give me your supervisor. I want to speak to somebody at a higher level. I want your information as well. Response from Beatrice, not collections. 
Uh, we inform you that the invoice generated and claimed is correct and must be paid in full. I'm not sure if this woman's a bloody robot. Uh, we insist that if he finally refuses to pay, Orange will apply the measures derived from the breach of the contract, causing him to incur subsequent expenses in addition to including him on our public delinquency list. We advise you to reconsider and make the payment as soon as possible. Not Orange, Beatrice. I want to stress a couple of things here. Firstly, there is no service. This is pure blackmail. Secondly, they didn't deliver. The contract's non and void. Everything she's talking about is utter rubbish. But what she's doing is trying to force a payment and avoid all the questions she's been given. Because if she has an engagement and has to respond to these, she'll have to open herself up to being responsible for what she's talking about. At the moment, she's just trying to force force me to pay this money, yet she has not acknowledged we don't have any of the phone equipment. She does not acknowledge we don't have the sims. She does not acknowledge the internet doesn't work or the internet was never installed. All she is is demanding money. Uh, would you call that menacing? I'm not sure it's menacing. But that's the woman's name, Beatrice Nevado Rivero, or the other way around. I think it's like the Philippines where the uh, second names change. They keep the mother's name, maiden name. But either way, um, I'll send this to Beatrice as well, just so she knows she's on YouTube. But these are utter croaks. And it's not the first time they've done this. What it seems to be is a complete scam where they're telling people they can install the internet, they can't. And then they try to blackmail them into having their phone systems that don't work. Or quite simply, you don't want it or don't need it because it was given as part of a package. These, these are absolute swindling thieves. Thanks for watching.